what's going on guys my name is Brandon Hayline your Jeep informant and today we're going to be at the computer and we're going to be taking a look at the all new products that Jeep is going to be releasing in the next four years and yes it does include the Jeep truck so let's go ahead and get started now first off they talk about the Trailhawk which they're obviously going to keep that it's been really good for the Cherokee and Grand Cherokee I think it'd be pretty cool to incorporate this with the Wrangler maybe like a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Trailhawk that would be pretty cool, I think. Next, they talk about the Trackhawk. They're definitely keeping that. This $100,000 Jeep Grand Cherokee that's got 707 horsepower. Uh, they're not getting rid of this thing anytime soon, it doesn't look like. All new for a first quarter release in 2020, the Jeep Cherokee Desert Hawk. This is pretty cool right here. I like this. This is neat. I could see how they can incorporate this Desert Hawk with the Wrangler also. All right, so this is where it starts to get interesting, so make sure you stick around. Electrifying options available across each nameplate by 2021. So basically what this means is that all of the Jeep products will have an option available for some type of electricity. So if we're speaking of the Jeep Wrangler, we've got the 3.6, we've got the 2 liter, we've got the, the diesel, then we'll have a, a some type of electricity option which will most likely be a plug-in hybrid. So this here's kind of an overview of what we're getting ready to talk about. The Grand Wagoneer returns, eight plug-in hybrids, uh, along with level three autonomy. Now here, Jeep is thinking that by 2022, that they'll have uh, one in 12 SUVs on the road will be a Jeep. And then sometime in the future, one in five, that's 20% of the SUV population will be Jeep. Now, that sounds pretty strong, but this is how they're going to do it right here. So first off, let's take a look at the left side of this page. It says global. Then you got A, B, B, C, D, E, F. All right, that is the size of vehicle. All right. Now, the second row over is the actual current lineup that Jeep has now. Now, if you look here in the D section, you see a Grand Commander. And that's something we have not seen here in North America. This is China only. Now, this was just released last month in May over in China. It has the, the 2 liter with a 9 speed and ranging anywhere from $30,000 to $50,000 for this Grand Commander. Now, I haven't heard yet when the Grand Commander is supposed to come to North America or if it even will come to North America. So, we'll just wait on that and see. Now, if you take a look over here in the fourth column, it's going to show you which size vehicle will be equipped with a plug-in hybrid technology, electric vehicle only, or autonomous. You know, so this this is kind of, you can kind of look across to the left and see which vehicle has what. So starting at the top on the third row, by 2022, some little small type of vehicle that's smaller than the Renegade. Looks like it's going to be plug-in hybrid only. Now next down is the new redesigned Renegade. It's going to be plug-in hybrid electric and autonomous at some point in time now in the size c category it looks like we're going to have a refurbished compass that will offer a plug-in hybrid option along with the fully electric and autonomous now if we're going by this chart you can see here that the wrangler shows to have a plug-in hybrid option also a full electric option along with the autonomous feature so does that mean that the wrangler is going to have five different engine options the 3.6 liter gas, the 2.0 liter turbo gas, the 3.0 diesel, the plug-in hybrid, and then a fully electric. Wow, guys, this is going to be like tons of different choices. So I would like to know which one you want to purchase. I'm going to leave a poll up here in the top right corner. Make your choice of which one you would like to purchase in the future. Now, moving down to the D section, Looks like we're getting a new Cherokee. Now they did just refresh the Cherokee in 2019 with a little facelift on the headlights and some interior features, but it looks to be like this is gonna be all new. Now there's also here a low third row. Now I'm not sure what low third row means. Low D, D is the, the size of vehicle, but low third row. I don't know if that's the, the name of the vehicle or it's just gonna be a I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. So we got that Grand Commander we talked about previously. If it's going to be in North America or not, not sure. I would say so. Looking at this and the all Jeep truck that everyone's been waiting for. Y'all been waiting for it and use proof in the pudding right here. It's coming. 
All right, so if we're going by this chart, which I'm assuming is correct, they're stating that the Jeep truck, okay, I don't know if they're going to call it the Scrambler or what they're going to do, but it says Jeep truck is going to have the option for a plug-in hybrid and the option for fully electric. That is that is awesome. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's just I just think it's really neat that they're offering that. I'm sure, obviously, they're not going to only be plug-in hybrid and electric. There's obviously going to be most likely diesel and gas for that Jeep truck also. Now, moving down to the E section, it shows the Grand Cherokee. Now, it's covered up with a blanket type thing, so I'm assuming that it's going to be an all-new redesign for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Second row, then this is the E segment third row, which they've already kind of announced that they're going to have a third row Grand Cherokee, so I'm assuming that's what that's going to be. Now, those uh, Grand Cherokees are not going to have the fully electric option, only the plug-in hybrid option. Now, moving down to the section F, the long-awaited for Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. So, glad to see those come back. This is going to be a pretty big vehicle, larger than the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So, this will be interesting. It Not only will it be big, it'll have a big price on it too, I'm sure. So, it does not look like it's going to come as a fully electric only a plug-in hybrid option all right so all this talk about autonomous vehicles let's just go over it real quick on a you know just a short basis level two is what we have currently in the jeep grand cherokee with the you know with the adaptive cruise control with the hands off and the eyes on basically you can accelerate and decel and then it can keep you in the lane now, level three is a pretty big step up, and this is what Tesla has right now, which is hands off the steering wheel, eyes off the steering wheel, but you can take over anytime you'd like. Now, this is, you know, accelerating and decelerating and automatically changing lanes. So, put the turn signal on, and if there's room to, to go over, then it will go over by itself. Now, we're not expected to see this kind of technology till 2020 and 2021. Now, if you take a look at level four, this is, 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 pretty, is pretty stout here. Now, we're not going to be seeing this until, you know, at least another five years away. 2023 to 2025 is level four hands off and mind off. Very interesting. Fully automated driving while lim under limited conditions. Okay. This is a little scary to a lot of people, and I understand why. Uh, you know, I drive a vehicle too, so this 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 is curious of how this is going to go down. Personally, I think we'll see this in other manufacturers first before we see it in Jeep. Now, that's just my opinion, but we've already got, you know, Tesla's already a level ahead of pretty much everybody as it is. Now, if y'all didn't hear just the other day, Chrysler and Google, you know, added 62, I think it was 62,000 more uh, Chrysler Pacifica minivans to their fleet of autonomous vehicles. So no driver at all, and this vehicle is just going down the road. You got 62,000 of these things going to be out on the road soon, just driving around collecting data on how, you know, if you think about it, guys, it's really, really crazy. It's interesting, but, uh, you know, you know, what is the world coming to? We don't know. So this is what Jeep has to offer for the next five years. And uh, I hope this gives you a little more insight on what is to come in the near future for Jeep. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope this uh, makes you smarter now than you were when you started this video. Take care. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.